Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Weapons of Master Penis. I am here with Boris Prabersham, and today we have an exciting feat for you. <laughs> You've hyped it up too much already. <laughs> <laughs> so, <you're... laughs> this, what you're seeing here, is actually a ship I designed and built in a totally different world, and it looks like a, like a hunk of junk right now because it was built with a whole bunch of mods that are gone but that suits our purposes right by built in a different world you mean happened to just float past and we yeah. caught it yeah. using yeah, well, our I'm... amazing catching ship that we somehow brought over here from the you know we spent another three weeks the other one was recorded ahead of time we spent another three weeks uh, going back to the old sector picking up the the snare ship bringing it back here catching this ship as it floated past and then taking it back uh, and now we're back here so i don't know the maths how many times did we go back and forward <laughs> <laughs> But um, it's it's lots. been almost a year, probably. Um, <laughs> we were just recording ahead of time. We that's were really right. organized. Yeah. 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 And when we snared this ship, that's why it looks so bad because it it chopped off all of the extremities. Yeah. Nothing to do with mods. No. Nothing to do with mods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I've forgotten what we're doing. All right. Oh, that's so, right. Um, Go ahead. Uh, who, I don't know whose idea this was. This who, one whose idea was this originally? This one comes from General Hatchet. Which is a voice in Anubis's head. He, he doesn't actually exist. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's the General of Hatchets. He's actually a giant hatchet that bounces around and laughs and giggles at me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, yes, so he suggested uh, a ship that has other ships in it, or that, that flings fighters. Uh, yeah. Uh, Whoop. Oh, and but you did it again. Oh, I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fixed. <laughs> Your magical powers. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, so he suggested that a, a ship that flung other ships, and he also suggested a guided missile. So I think we could combine the two. Yep. A ship that makes small fighters and flings them. And the reason they fling them is because the fighters can double as a guided missile. Because as we all know, computers are far more expensive than people. Yes. People are expendable. Totally. So if we just fit, like kind of turn these fighters into a missile at the same time, we could have a missile that is guided by human intelligence. Which is far superior, as a anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, what's more, we don't have to worry about losing any computers. All That's we right. have to do is, you know, write sorry notes to their families. <laughs> and then fly back to the other sector and get some more um, dummies. I mean, uh, willing participants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's alright, they're, they're all clones and as we've established, clones don't have souls and, and don't matter, so we will just use them that's right <laughs> alright now you're trying to right, write at the it, moment I'm it, just yeah. at, at the moment I'm just showing off <laughs> it didn't work because it bumped that one uh, please write itself uh -oh. We will do an entire episode of this. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So I think the plan is is that what we're going to do is... This one's drifting down. Oh, Hang on, moving. this needs doing. you got to stop moving when you place things. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, <laughs> um, we can yeah, turn so this the... into a fighter. Yeah, to turn this into a, a, a missile fighter. So we're gonna we we'll do that right now, real quick, and then uh, and we'll probably cut away before we finish, and then finish it off, and then we'll have to work on the uh, the flinger. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think oh, hang on. we we need to go to the back first because this is probably the most important part of the ship, um, given you know the the speed that it probably needs to go. Yep, and we so want to make sure those. that. 
that that the, because we don't want to give the pilot the option of of not hitting the target, right? So I think there might yeah. be too many maneuvering thrusters, right? Like if we if we only give him a few thrusters to maneuver, then he won't be able to go off target, right? He'll have to just go towards it. Do we need any of them? <laughs> well, like they they could be missiles that shoot. Yeah, yeah. And with the gyro that turns. So that they're, they're a missile that can shoot on their way to the target, but so that the the pilot doesn't chicken out. They don't have any option other than to continue in that path. And so just the gyros to let him turn, but not change the forward momentum. Yep. Okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was trying to get the... Oh, wow, I'm having a trouble here. Okay. Eh, like that. The, the added benefit is we don't really need that many reactors. Oh, there you go. See? Well, these are missiles, right? So we need to conserve on resources. So we can uh, build them quickly. I don't really understand that concept. <laughs> um... um I don't know if that's too many reactors, then. I think it is. I'll just cover it up and you won't notice. There we go. Well, why can't I place those there? Uh, we don't need an antenna because, you know, we don't need to talk to these people. <laughs> get rid of that. Um, we need, uh, need guns. I think they're the most important part. We yeah, there's four on the front. Lots of guns. There's already four on the front, but uh, we probably want missiles too, then, huh? Four on the front? One? Oh, yeah. Oh. And I think we can fit some missiles there. Oh, that didn't work. Oops. Um, I just broke something. Now, just cover that up. Never happened. And I think that looks... That looks great. We've never seen anything that looks better than that. Now, uh, what else do we need in this? <laughs> Mass blocks, I think. That might be the... Oh, we have two options of, of shooting it. We can either have a gravity-driven system where a gravity drive throws it out, or have these thrusters on full speed. And I think the thrusters on full speed might be a better solution, because we're looking to build this in a little mini shipyard. Yeah. Uh, inside the ship with the projector, so that we can spit them out. Yeah, I like that. So, oh, yeah, so we'll, we'll keep this simple. I like the tons of guns. That's great. <laughs> um, and just a, a small, very oh, important touch. To turn my. This thing back on. And then we need the. Oh, that was a weird lag spike. Um, uh, there. Okay, I'm getting some lag. <laughs> well, I think Please we'll, disappear. We'll cut away here and finish this off, and we'll be right back. What'd you do, Boris? Mm. Look at this hole. Uh, What'd you do? I... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I didn't do anything. This just just magically appeared. is a natural. Yes, this is a natural formation uh, in the new procedurally generated worlds. Yeah, this is a new asteroid right here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so, so uh, one of our tests might not have gone quite to plan, or well, yeah. one of my tests more like it. But I do have a copy. Well, here's our missile right here. Uh, uh, this is our missile. Where it was what, here. The, the hole. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 brings up some philosophical questions as to whether you can actually throw a hole 
Mm. That's a good question. I think that's yeah. I think that's a debate for another time because <laughs> okay. we've got far more serious matters to attend to. Uh, <laughs> so I've got a copy of the ship, and I'm about to paste it in. And the first thing you'll notice is the the main distraction. Uh, the propaganda machine. Which is is it, is it not going to go? Is it going to make us wait thirty seconds? Oh, here it is. What do we have? Hey, we have to fly out of the sensor range. Which is how much? Fifty meters. No, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right. I only hit one of the sounds playing. I also forgot to do the light. Well, I didn't forget to do the lights. Oh, there we go. There's some more sensors. I did have Whoa. the idea of the lights, but I think that they <laughs> might be uh, a slight medical hazard for people with epilepsy. So I'm going to turn them off. <laughs> <laughs> this is noisy. I can't. I can't hear a thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that, that sound is meant to distract people as it <laughs> plays the same song <laughs> over and, and over. over again on top of one another. <laughs> <laughs> and there's random beeps every now and then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> yes. Oh. So you can see the weapon system on the front here, right? We've got lots of, lots of weapons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, weapons. <laughs> weapons. Okay. Why don't we move on to the uh, the large ship now? <laughs> While Doris recovers himself. <laughs> Those weapons and wires and, and epileptically. Do you want to? Do you want to kill that lights. thing? Do you want to kill it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the start of our large ship. <laughs> and so, as you can see, it's a landing gear. Uh, uh, yes, yes, of course. And That's how they all start. Boom. Uh, it's a big T. Yeah, uh, and th that ship that we just showed you there... Uh, there's this is another uh, what do you call it like a blueprint blueprint yeah uh, with with the, uh, the the thrusters at the back on so as yep. soon as this is welded up and released uh, it goes That's and the idea. yeah and we're also going to put in a welder not a welder a grinder to cut this umbilical off so that it it goes automatically um, Obviously, with the theme of this, we couldn't go for an automated system. So someone's <laughs> going to need to sit here and control that welder. But they kind of act as the person who releases the weapon. Yes. They're the, the gunner. Yeah. Of, of a sort. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the idea... Whoa! Did you just paste another one down? No. No. Remember these not. these ships just float by. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so and now we're gonna try and build a large ship that basically constructs these and shoots them off. We have uh, there'll be a pilot that flies this ship and aims, and then there'll be the uh, the master at arms down here that releases the the um, the missile, and and then there's gonna be a pilot of the uh, of the actual ship here that guides yeah. it into the enemy. So this is a three-man so ship. We, yeah, we, we need to find... Well, actually, it's more. Um, we're going to have to create, like, a tunnel for all the clones to walk in. Right. Because uh, we need one after the other. Yeah, that's, true. that's um, true. But for testing purposes, we might just need one. <laughs> um, I don't think we need these bottom welders here. And I don't think there's anything else we just got to get to building. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the basic idea. So we're going to start building this and 
uh, we'll, we'll, I think we're going to probably cut out about now and then uh, we'll come back when we have a ship that actually um, can do sort of the things that we think that we want them to do. <laughs> <laughs> Which will never happen. But... Which will never happen. <laughs> we'll, we'll try. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Look, a new person. We found a clone. <laughs> they, they just sort of sit around, uh, you know, they appear every now and then. They're, they're kind of a pest um, around these parts. But yep. um, I think we're... It, in this case, it's uh, a welcome uh, annoyance because uh, we need need someone to test this thing. Yep, here's uh, the ship. <laughs> yep. Now, the last time you saw it, we had this printer kind of going. Did Yeah, yeah, kind of. Well, we had just a had the. Bits on it. We just had a couple of grinders and then this projecting, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then Anubis built the front bit, and I built the back bit. Yes. So you can see the front bit is all quite elaborate and quite quite nice looking. Um, <laughs> we spent some time on that. <laughs> um, I don't I'm... really know. It was supposed to be squid looking. Yeah. The, the, the inspiration in the beginning was that these were supposed to all be squid tentacles coming out the front, but it ended up turning into this instead, so. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, the clone, whose name also happens to be uh, Honda. Or the Doctor. Honda, or Dr. Honda, or, or... 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 We came up with a name for you. Or, okay, or, that'll do. We'll call him Or from now on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he, he said it looked like a, a giant lollipop printer. Yep. So, I think we have a name. And then, I started building this little control p tower, if you, if you come up to the top. I started building that. And then got carried away with sound blocks. And <laughs> I went to go build the back. And I, I decided I've got better things to do with my time, so that that's my big surprise, Anubis. <laughs> that is just a bunch of <laughs> blocks. I I spent half an hour on that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It's beautiful. But I do have a nice control panel, control tower thing, which is just some glass. Yes. That's well, glass it. that makes anything look good, actually. Yep. Yep. So Very I've nice. done a, a brilliant job. While the, so this is where the pilot the sits. Yep. And the. Uh, oh yeah, and then down here is where. So the gunner the, sits here. Yep. Which I think will be you because you've got that sort of stuff all set up already. Okay. And then come the over here, clone. Yes. Clone. The, this this catwalk is for you. I even put rails on there to make sure you didn't fall off because we all know clones are uncoordinated. Yep. Yes. Um, sir? It might be best to, to crouch along here, just in case you bump your head on the thing when it's done. Um, your job... See, this thing creates fighters and uh, and spits them out. And because, you know, you're a, a clone, you're best suited to, to flying things. Um, and, you know, I'm it, times are tough. Yeah, t times are tough um, and computers cost money. So we've decided to just go the human route. Uh, rather than you know putting fancy computer stuff in these ships, which is going to fill them with people, uh, make them control stuff. Uh, yep. So, you, whereabouts I am, you kind of just sit there, and, and once it's built, you hop straight into the cockpit, um, and then Anubis will release you, and you'll be able to go out and fight. And then your idea is to try and inflict as much damage on the citadel down there as possible. Yep, we're attacking the um, citadel. Yeah, around where the the top is, there's this. We've kind of munched it away a little bit with the the other thing that we built last week. <laughs> um, not last week, last year. Sorry, last year. I forgot. That's right. Yeah, time flies. You know, when you're traveling through space. At, um, I, was, I was about to say light speed because <laughs> we can travel that speed in our suits. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, then traveling three weeks, that's probably a bit far. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, there's some, like the, the control thing at the top. There's like a little control tower. Maybe that's best to, to aim for. 
you've got a whole bunch of missile launchers and and uh, Gatling guns to use. And I think it's time to get going. Yeah. So I'm going to so... get in my seat. Okay, I'll get in my seat. Uh, I've got to unhook it. Now, the clone might bump around a little bit, you know, while we're flying. Why can't I move? Did we convert? Go forward thrusters. My thrusters aren't working. <laughs> the only bit I built isn't working. <laughs> um, is there something we need to do? Forward. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Go forward. Why aren't they working? Oh, is it because... Did I get in first? Oh, yes. Okay, the I'm landing out. landing gear. Right. Uh, are you out, Anubis? I'm out, yep. Okay, so if I get in... And then I get in. Okay. Yeah, the landing gear isn't connected. Why are the thrusters not moving forward? Can you move them? Is it going forward? Nope. The inertia dampeners aren't even working. This is interesting. <laughs> Maybe it's got to do with power. Is there not enough power? It says overload. That might be the problem. Might. Now it says power usage. Yeah, you've got tons. that You, you can stop. Uh, I'm going to put one one down here as well. But that's that's plenty now. Okay, okay you in? so that's the that's the problem. Uh, not yet. I, I'm just going to get down. So we'll fly into position, and because um, the clone was sort of bump around a little bit, we haven't put a seat in because I mean, we don't need them to be comfortable. I'm dispensable. <laughs> All right. Damn it, we taught our clone to talk. <laughs> it's a good thing we only taught him how to say a few words. Mostly the ones he needs to know. My mom is a printer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I think around about there is good. Uh, obviously, you know, the people in that station down there wouldn't have seen this coming. No. Nope. It's camouflaged. Yep. And right now they wouldn't see us at all. So, I think... Whoop. Oh, yes. Uh, and first things first, to alert the, the clone... Aren't, uh, aren't the sounds working? Why aren't the sounds working? That's the most important bit. <laughs> Play sounds. Why aren't the sounds working? <laughs> That's your favorite part. Hey, one second, I've just got to click random sounds. <laughs> I did have them set up to do something um, good, but, you know. Uh, if you keep this up, I'm going to have to take away your new name, you know. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, so, DJ Breaker Shaker the, is the back in town. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Apparently, that's my DJ name. <laughs> Let's go, DJ Breaker here Shaker. We, here we go. <laughs> Okay, the, uh, I don't have the best position to view this. The there. welders are going into place. Yep. Welders Obviously are locked. this is far too fast. Um, no Welding. One would be able to keep up with our, the speed of the building here. Um, it's not welding, welding very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> welding. Um, this. There we go. There we go. All right. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right. And retracting, welding, it's, it's being built, we have a ship, alright, alright our clone, jump into the cockpit. I'm inside. And release! Slowly. <laughs> it was still releasing. Still releasing. There we go. It's released. Now, fight clone. Fight clone. Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh, 
We did well. We did well. I think that works perfectly. I mean, obviously the clone's dead. Um, you know, that, <laughs> that, there goes the body. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think we might uh, go for one more. So uh, I'm sure another clone will just float by at some point. Yep. And the projector's off. We can off, reset this. Yeah. Why did the projector go off? Did did the the grinder damage the? It shouldn't have. Did it damage How it? Do I get a? It's still green. That's interesting. Oh. Is it on now? Uh, it's not on mine. Is it on yours? No, I just re here. Let me. Oh, it doesn't have a blueprint anymore. Why does it? Whoops. Okay, does it now? Okay. Yeah, looks like it Th does now. Yep. Yeah, this this time I think we should be moving. So. Uh, oh, I turned my jetpack off. Um, maybe we want to build the ship first, and then grind it when we need to let go. Okay. While moving. Okay, so build it up right now? Yep. Well, that worked a lot quicker this time. So this time we're being prepared. Oh! <laughs> it exploded. Um. <laughs> it's all right. I might have a copy over here, <laughs> which we'll need to put more reactors on. Uh, uh, just go. There we go. Oh, look at that! There's another one. See, we're we're smart. We we always build in duplicate just in case. Yeah. Oh yes, I just noticed another clone happened to turn up. Yeah, lovely. look at that. They just they pop out of the woodwork. Uh, did you get in before me? Yes. Okay, I'm out. I'm back in. Okay. No, I'm still not working. Uh, no gyros, that's why. The copy I took was before, you know, all I put on was thrusters. I, I didn't put anything else on. <laughs> That was my entire contribution in between doing sounds that didn't work. Uh, now, nah. I'm going to get in and it's going to be moving. Whoops, uh, would you mind helping out? Helping out with what? Um, I'm in. No, you're, you're still in. Oh, your hopping seat. out. Hey, hopping out. Yep. Yep, and I get back in. I'm in. I thought you said hop, like helping out. There we go. Now, okay. so you got to build the ship, don't we? Yep. Building. But it's taking its time. I think this time we should aim for the entrance. We want to send our fighter directly in. Okay. So far, so good. is ready to fly. All right, the clone is in. Okay, so all okay. we got to do is grind. So, yep, and I'm going to sort of strafe around, and we're going to send our guided, uh, I mean, not guided missile, um, fighter, into the doorway. So you can release when you want, and I'll try and keep this lined up with the doorway. So start whenever I want? <laughs> yep. Okay, grinding. Whoa! <laughs> I think that <laughs> we still hit it. <laughs> <laughs> so we—it sounded like we took a bit off the front of our ship, but it's all right. Um, I can still hear. The <laughs> I can still hear the sounds of the. The clone ship, the um, the guided missile. Oh, and there's another dead clone. Oh well, we'll get over it. <laughs> I think that's a success. It seems like um, it, yeah. Yeah, while there's no clones around to hear, uh, that was a very good guided missile. Mhm, mm it worked as as we yep. intended. Hmm. 
that doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> now, let's see if we can do all this while it's... Uh, uh. So can we launch while, while it's moving? Well, when you turned last time, that's why it blew up the front. Come on, finish, finish. It's still building. <laughs> it's really taking its time sometimes. Right. Oh, another, another cone enough. turned up. They really are a problem in this in this sector. Yeah. Once once you make one, they, they, just, they just keep, keep coming breathing. back. Yeah, they like that damn cat. Yeah. Okay, so we have a ship. I'm grinding away. Well, the the clone's not the clone's not quite in. Oh no! Is the clone in? Clone is in. Clone is in. All there right. And the music has started. Oh, good. It's all right. I don't need to aim. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you can hear the sounds of it going off. <laughs> distracting the animal. Because it's still going. <laughs> the clone might even still be alive in there, but it's all right. We don't need him. <laughs> um, we'll just leave him. Yeah. I'm gonna go inspect the damage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I can fly rather well. Oh look, now, another I think clone! I broke my leg. <laughs> oh, the the clone's all right, just slightly hurt. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, now that he knows it's a guided missile. Um, I think he's less likely to... <laughs> ah! There we go. You got Pro him. Problem sorted. <laughs> so now we <laughs> just make another one and, he, and he'll be none the wiser. Yep. Yep. Now, I think that's some pretty good damage. I think and so that, too. that hole's bigger than I thought. <laughs> I like it. Works for me. Yeah. yeah. Who needs all this fancy, you know, using sensors to make guided missiles? <laughs> Just get a clone. Just get a clone. Well, I hope uh, you all enjoyed. <laughs> yep. And we'll see you in the next one. The lollipop printer. That's the, the lollipop name. printer. Yep. Thought I should add that. But yes, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Just go away. Go away.